that's not what I meant. Down on the double track, the captain's going crazy. What's he doing? Oh, be careful, captain, it's slippery. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Back up on our flanks. We got Frenchie, what's he doing? Straight from zero, let's flipper. And Oscar thinks he's got another idea. Oh, be careful, Oscar. Oh, he missed the board. Down on the tumble track, Scully's got a new idea. Oh, slow down, Scully, you're gonna get dizzy. Oh, and he falls right down. Oh, the captain's talking to these pirates. What are they talking about? He's got an idea. All right, the captain's out on the plank. Approaching the end, what's he doing? Be careful, Captain. Remember that plank is slippery. Oh, he fell again, folks. And over the top, but look out, Captain. Oh, the baby dive. Let's hear it for those pirates. All right, well, folks, I'm tired of all this mutiny and stuff. I've got a better idea. How about if we have a good old-fashioned plank diving contest? And if the Captain and his first mate wins, the rest of the pirates will sail off under his command. But if the captain loses, then shark bait. All right, audience, we're gonna split you up into two cheering sections. So, from the center of our pool and to your left, you're gonna be cheering for the captain and the pirates in blue. Let's hear it for those blue pirates. All right, and from the center of our pool and to your right, you're gonna be cheering for those pirates in red. Let's hear it for those red pirates. All right, well, folks, it looks like we've got a competition on our hands. Let's get things started. First up, we've got Frenchie. Frenchie's going to be showing us a back dive in the straight position. A beautiful dive to get things started. Let's hear Red Team. Next up, we've got Oscar. Oscar's going to be showing us an inward dive in the pipe position. He'll be coming very close onto the board on this dive. Let's see if he can do it. Oh, and just misses the board. Let's see your blue team. All right, down on the tumble track, we've got Scully. He's got a tumbling pass. Let's see what he can do. Beautiful pass, let's hear it, red team. Back up on the planks, we've got the captain and Oscar for the blue team. This next dive is called the pinwheel. They will both be performing a one and a half somersault, but in facing opposite directions. Let's see if they can land in the water at the same time. And a beautiful pinwheel, let's hear it, blue team. The red team's teaming up for a dive they think they can do better. Scully and Frenchie will be performing a tandem front two and a half pike. Their goal is to also enter the water at the same time. Let's see if they can do it. A magnificent tandem dive. Let's hear it, red team. All right, and Oscar's back up on the board. He's going to be showing us a back one and a half with a half twist. All right, let's hear it, blue team. Oh, Frenchie's not impressed. He thinks he can do better. He's going to be showing us a back one and a half, but with one and a half twists. Looks like the captain thinks he can do better as well. The captain's going to be showing us a forward two and a half in the tough position. And let's hear it for the captain. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we've got Scully back up on the planks. He's going to be showing us a one and a half with two and a half twists. A magnificent dive! Let's hear it for the red team! Alright audience, how do you think those dives went? How are they? 
Yeah, how about one more dive? What do you think? Yeah? Alright, well, for this last dive, we have three pirates. Their goal is to enter the water at the same time. We call this dive the Trandom Dive. On the flanks, we've got Oscar and Frenchie. Up on the 10 meter platform, we've got Scully. Their goal is to enter the water at the same time. It takes a lot of timing and practice to get this right. So let's see if they can do it. A beautiful tandem dive. Let's hear it for those pirates. All right, folks, you know what time it is. It's time to find out who won that contest. So, starting on the left side with those pirates in blue, Let's hear it for those pirates! Not bad, folks, not bad. And on the right side, those pirates in red, tell them how they did. How were they? Oh, I don't know. That may have been a tie. I think I'm going have to have to hear it just one more time. So once more for those pirates in blue, let's be real loud. How were they? All right, Red Team, you've got to do better than that. Let's hear it for those pirates in red! All right, folks, by the sounds of that, I think I'm going to have to give that one to the pirates in blue! Hold on a minute, hold on. Has anyone seen the captain? He's where? Up there? No, no, no. Nobody's crazy enough to go up there. Not even the captain. Captain, what are you doing up there? I'm freaking out! Well, of course you're freaking out. You're over 80 feet in the air. How are you going to get down? What? I said get down. No, 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 I didn't mean get down and boogie. I meant how are you going to get down to the water? Yeah, down here. Oh, he's got an idea. He's going to take himself, jump, and flip and land in the water. But, Captain, you're over 80 feet in the air. Oh, he's really freaking out now, folks. I think the only way to get him down is going to be with a big round of applause. So, let's hear it for the captain. Oh, I don't know, folks. I don't think he can hear you. I said he's over 80 feet in the air. You're going to have to be a whole lot louder. Let's hear it for the captain. All right, folks, over 80 feet above your heads. He'll be traveling at over 55 miles an hour when he hits the water and landing into only 10 feet of water. Let's see that what the captain can do. Ladies and gentlemen, we ask that you be completely silent at this time. see if he's okay. And a beautiful high dive from over 80 feet in the air. Let's hear it for the captain. Well, folks, after that dive, the captain and his crew sailed off to Treasure Island where they found all the gold and jewels their hearts desired. We're going to go ahead and introduce those divers for you now. So, from Bloomington, Illinois, Illinois State finalist diver, Brad Ross. And next from Bloomington, Illinois, two times NCAA championship diver, Justin Roskowski. Next, and from Southbury, Connecticut, a performer in the world's largest stunt show, Andrew Puko. And lastly, from San Antonio, Texas, and a two times gold medalist on mini trampoline and your featured high diver, Johnny Kutiris. All right, well, folks, you've been a fantastic audience. Feel free to stay tuned after the show down on the tumble track as our divers will be up to meet you and sign autographs. Thank you for coming. Our next show will be at 3.30.